Today in this lecture we are going to discuss the pressure gradient for venous return. Pressure gradient is simply the pressure difference between the right atrial pressure and the mean systemic filling pressure. We have previously discussed that in the normal venous return curve, in the normal venous return curve we have seen that in a normal human being at a normal right atrial pressure of 0 millimeter of mercury in a normal right in a normal human being with a normal right atrial pressure which is around 0 millimeter of mercury the venous return is around 5 liters per minute the venous return is around 5 liters per minute and when the right atrial pressure starts increasing the venous return starts decreasing. Now, when the right atrial pressure starts increasing, the venous return starts decreasing and at the level of around 7 mm of mercury. When the pressure in the right atrium increases from 0 to 7 mm of mercury, the return of blood, the return of blood stops altogether or it touches the zero level. Now this level this level at which the venous return becomes zero is considered as mean systemic filling pressure. Mean systemic filling pressure and it is denoted with this PSF of 7 millimeter of mercury. Mean systemic filling pressure. Now basically we have discussed in our previous lectures as well this, this pressure, mean systemic filling pressure is this the pressure in the blood vessels when heart beating has been stopped and the, the fl blood flow has ceased and the pressure on arterial and venous sides has equalized after a few seconds. Heartbeat has been stopped so blood flow has also stopped in the circulation and pressure on arterial and venous sides has equalized. Now the pressure measured, now that pressure measured is known as the mean systemic filling pressure and its normal value is 7 millimeter of mercury. As long as, as long as this pressure is 7 millimeter of mercury and the right atrial pressure is 0, zero millimeter of mercury. The, the, the mean systemic filling pressure is 7 and the right atrial pressure is 0. There is a gradient there is a gradient which pushes the blood which pushes the blood from the periphery towards the heart it pushes the blood from the periphery towards the heart and this gradient this difference this pressure difference of pressure between the right atrium and the mean systemic filling pressure is known as the pressure gradient for venous return and due to this pressure gradient the the blood keeps on returning towards the heart. Now if the right atrial pressure starts increasing from 0 to like 1, 2, 3, 4. So if the right atrial pressure starts increasing from here and it reaches 7 level, it reaches 7 level, the venous return will decrease and it will touch the 0 level because at 7, at a pressure of 7 in the right atrial pressure, there will be no pressure gradient there will be no pressure gradient or there will be no difference between the pressure of the right atrium and pressure in the of the mean systemic filling pressure or pressure in the uh, circulatory system or pressure in the vessels because this pressure this mean systemic filling pressure this is due to filling of the vessels. If there is more volume and there is more tightness of the filling of the vessels, then this pressure is more. If there is decrease in the volume and there is less tightness or there is inhibition of the sym sympathetic system, then this pressure will be low. But normally, the pressure in the right atrium is zero and pressure, the mean systemic filling pressure is seven and the difference between these two is known as the pressure gradient and this pressure gradient provide a medium or this pressure gradient is responsible for the venous return for the return of blood from the periphery towards the heart if the if this pressure if this pressure gradient keeps on increasing if the pressure gradient keeps on increasing how will it increase 
it will increase if the right atrial pressure remains zero and this pressure this means systemic filling pressure is increased for example it is increased from 7 to around 14 then the venous return will jump from the normal 5 liters at this point to around more than 10 so the right atrial pressure remains the same it remains at this level but the mean systemic filling pressure has increased from this normal level from this normal level to 14 so the venous return so the venous return at every level has increased the venous return at every level has increased because this pressure has become 14 for example or 12 or 13 instead of 7 so the difference or the gradient has increased from because the pressure in the right atrium remains zero it remains zero it remains zero and the mean systemic filling pressure has increased if this gradient is decreased if this gra gradient is increased for example pressure in the right atrium remains zero pressure in the right atrium remains zero but the mean systemic filling pressure the mean systemic filling pressure this mean systemic filling pressure or the pressure in the vessels or the filling or the volume or the tightness in the vessels has decreased to around three then the the gradient will be decreased because the gradient will be between 3.5 and 0 it's 0 in the right atrium and 3.5 in the periphery so from the 7 it has decreased to 3.5 so venous return will also decrease from the normal 5 level to less to a lesser level it will decrease to a lesser level because the gradient has been decreased now this gradient can decrease or increase because of increasing mean systemic filling pressure or decreasing mean systemic filling pressure but it can also change when there is a change in the right atrial pressure for example the mean systemic filling pressure remains the same the mean systemic filling pressure remains the same but the right atrial pressure increases the right atrial pressure increases if the right atrial pressure increases then again we see that there is a decrease of venous return there will be a decrease in venous return if increases if it increases more then the venous return will decrease more so if the mean systemic filling pressure remains the same but the right atrial pressure increases to around one or two or three or seven then the gradient will decrease or it will altogether finish so when there is no gradient there will be no return of blood flow and if there is more gradient there will be more return of blood flow so the pressure gradient for venous return is simply the difference it is simply the difference between the right atrial pressure and the mean systemic filling pressure pressure gradient is simply the difference between the right atrial pressure and the mean systemic filling pressure if it is more the venous return will increase if it is less or it is decreased the venous return will decrease so the the pressure gradient the pressure gradient can be increased or decreased either due to changes in the right atrial pressure or either in the changes in the mean systemic filling pressure or it can be decreased or increased due to changes in both the right atrial pressure and the mean systemic filling pressure so if the pressure in the right atrium remains the same it remains zero it remains zero but the mean systemic filling pressure has increased then the venous return the return of blood toward the heart will increase but if the right atrial pressure remains the same and the the mean systemic filling pressure has been decreased then the venous return will decrease from the its normal levels similarly if there is no change in the mean systemic filling pressure if there is no change in the mean systemic filling pressure but the pressure in the right atrium increases or decreases for example this pressure in the right atrium it keeps on increasing or it keeps on decreasing decreasing it will also 
increase or decrease the pressure gradient and it will also increase or decrease the uh, venous return so that's the effect of pressure gradient and that's the definition of pressure gradient for venous return